this bill for the last several weeks because it's aimed at tackling violent crime. There's 50 pieces to this bill, including changing other laws. WDRB's Christy Batista tells us the Safer Kentucky Act addresses problems on several levels. I just think people need to think twice before they rob businesses. Evan Burkhead owns several vapor lab shops. One of them was broken into on more than one occasion last year, costing him thousands of dollars. We work hard to provide for our employees, for the community. You know, it's not like we just have the money laying around for this to happen. House Bill 5, better known as the Safer Kentucky Act, would allow business owners like the Burkheads to use reasonable force to protect their products from shoplifters. You can't go beat somebody up with a baseball bat or kill them because they're stealing something. But you have the uh, duty to try to detain that person until the cops are called. Representative Kevin Bratcher is one of nearly 50 Republican legislators sponsoring the Safer Kentucky Act. It also includes a three strikes rule. Increases the punishment for someone convicted of a third violent felony to life in prison with no chance for probation or parole. Society has got to say, well, you can't be in this wonderful free society anymore if you can't control yourself and quit harming other people. The plan aims to curb violent crime in Kentucky. The bill also would expand definitions of murder, manslaughter, and drug trafficking. And create a new charge for carjacking. I don't want people to be harmed out there. The American Civil Liberties Union of Kentucky criticized several elements of the bill, including that three strikes measure, saying bills like this give the illusion of law and order while continuing to punish vulnerable populations. And decades of data tells us increased penalties do nothing to deter criminal activity. Some, though, are optimistic that harsher punishments will stop people from committing these crimes. If that's what it takes, that's what it takes. With photojournalist Ebony Petty's Christy Batista, WDRB News. A